Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at outputting variables. So, um, so far we've got this really simple program and I've, I've created a copy of this and I've called it outputting variables. So maybe create a new program yourself and um, we're going to change this code. Okay, so um, one thing uh, I should say here is that it's, it's really, really valuable to just type stuff over and over again. Um, I think it's, it's too easy to imagine that programming is primarily an intellectual exercise. Of course, it is an intellectual exercise, but a lot of the learning that you need to uh, undertake is kind of related to your fingers. It, you have to get into the habit of typing things and getting used to typing them. And uh, you sort of develop a kind of a, almost a muscle memory uh, and you, you get used to just typing particular programming constructs. So um, rather than copy your last project, always type it out again for the moment. Um, if you want to really accelerate your learning, learn to touch type, type without looking at the keys and you can find lots of programs on the internet to, um, to help you with that. But anyway, okay, so I've got this program here and um, we're outputting the value total, but I can actually add some text to that. So within the round brackets here of system.out.print line, I'm going to write um, total number of animals. Let's put a colon there. This is just text and then a space and then I'll close the speech mark like this. And then after the closing speech mark here, so after this, I'm going to put a space and a plus space and then total. Now, before we discuss what this is, let's see it running. Let's run it. And it says total number of animals, 12, which is much more helpful. If you're actually going to write a program, for example, I don't know, to help you calculate something, help you do your tax, whatever. Um, obviously, it's very useful to output text with your numbers. So we've already used a plus sign here. And what this plus sign did was um, it added the values stored in these two variables together. Or as a quick way of saying that, I could say that it adds these two variables together. It adds the number of cats and the number of dogs adding cats and dogs. These two variables are both of type int or integer variables. Now what we're doing here is something different. The plus sign actually has a different meaning. We've got some text here and we are adding a an integer to it. Um, so you, you can't add text to integers. You can't add like the word giraffe to the number 13, let's say. It makes no sense. What this is actually doing is it's turning this um, number into some text and concatenating it with this text. So it's, it's essentially it's, it's joining the number to some text. It's kind of a text operation. And the result is what we see in the console below, which is this. We can also output... Um, so after we've declared the variables and given them values... We can output all of them if we want. Let's write that. Let's try that. Let's write sysout control space and um, number of cats and plus cats. Notice that I, I left a space before the closing speech mark. Um, the, everything within the closing speech mark, within the speech marks, is just text. So even this space is just some text, but it looks nicer when it's output, if we put space there, because we get this nice space here. And it's really important to strive for legibility and beauty in all of your coding. It'll make it a lot easier. So if I write number of cats and then plus cats and then output that, let's run it. So it says number of cats, seven, total number of animals, 12. Let's output the number of dogs as well. So I'm going to write it here. Number of dogs. 
One thing this is really useful for is helping you to get bugs out of your code because whatever variables you have in your program, you can quickly output the values of them just using sysout, system.out.println and that can be very, very helpful. So now we're outputting the number of cats, dogs and the total number of them. Let's take a look. There we go. And let's also add some other number of animals in here. So I could write int. What else would you keep in your house? Maybe some people keep rats. I don't see how it's going to be possible to keep all these animals from devouring each other. But anyway, so int rats equals, let's say we've got three rats, which is three too many in my opinion, but you know, each to their own. So we've said int total equals cats plus dogs. We can just add another plus there and we can write rats. We can add them all together, cats plus dogs plus rats. Let's output the number of rats as well, since we've output the number of cats and dogs. Number of rats and plus rats. So we, we're just using this plus to join the number of rats with this text here. Okay, finally, let's try this. And there we go. We've got number of cats, number of dogs, number of rats, and the total animals is 15, which is too many, but there you go. Okay, try this for yourself. Um, experiment a little bit, add, add stuff together. It doesn't have to be animals, can be whatever you want. The important thing is to type it out and create your project from scratch as well. Don't copy it. Um, copying is useful, um, but uh, at this stage, the important thing is to get practice writing out code. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.